Hey everybody, this is Brian back with Inspiring How You See That, and I'm back with another one of my sad songs list. Um, I know that we've we've done a number of them now. I believe this is our our six, so we're hitting half a dozen. Um, I just I, I love doing this, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And so, you know, again, just kind of set the ground rate that this isn't a a top ten. This isn't you know a countdown. And it's going to come from a number of, of different genres of music. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and and let's shed a tear together <laughs> as we go through these songs. The first one we're going to talk about is from Three Days Grace, and it's The Last to Know. This is incredible. I mean, Three Days Grace is a very hard-hitting, you know, hard rock metal band. And Last to Know is so unlike the rest of their music because it it's a beautiful ballad. And it's really about heartbreak and, uh, you know, a, a sense of betrayal and how you feel when you've gone through that, when you've been on the receiving end of that. And I just think it's an incredible song. So check out Last to Know by Three Days Grace. The next one we're going to talk about, and this is one of my all-time favorite artists, and it's the country, it's the Canadian country superstar Dean Brody and his song Kansas Cried. Oh man, this one, this one hits me hard. It's... It's about a, a Civil War soldier who is taken and basically conscripted into battle on the night of his wedding. And so he mirrors this girl named Kansas. And as soon as the wedding's done, he's got to go off to war. And it's, she cries. And at the end, I won't ruin it for you, but, you know, again, it, fall, it finishes with her crying. And it's just such an amazing song. And, and again, it, it's one of those things that if you, you or a loved one is in the military, it, it might be a little tough to hear, but it, it's still a beautiful song. So make sure you listen to Kansas Cried by Dean Brody. The next one, we're going back to one of my favorite metal bands, Disturbed. We've mentioned them a few times in this list because, man, is David Draymond and the guys phenomenal at these slow ballads. This one is Uninvited Guest. And it's so so sad, and it talks about basically that memory that that someone that you can't get over, and they're just haunting you. They're haunting your thoughts. They're haunting your memories, and they're the uninvited guests that you just wish you could get rid of. And it's it's an incredible song, and I just can't say enough. I, I love Disturbed, and this is one of the top reasons why is uninvited guest. Next one, this one's going to be a little unique. It's from a rapper. It's not a rap song. And you know, I'm not a big fan of rap. But I heard this song, and it blew me away. And it's by the rapper named Jelly Roll. And it's the song Save Me. I gotta tell you, this guy can sing. I mean, he belts it on this one. And it's it's incredible. I, he's He sings it kind of this high-pitched voice. It's, it's, it's almost bluesy, and it's so heartfelt. And it's, it's really from a broken soul who knows, man, I've screwed up and somebody just please save me from myself. I can't do this. I need help. And it's absolutely incredible. And I know every single one of us can relate to it. So do yourself a favor and listen to Save Me by Jelly Roll. The next song, and we recently did a spotlight on this artist. And it's actually an, an actor who is also an accomplished musician, and that's Jensen Ackles and his song Sounds of Someday. If you remember, Jensen Ackles was one of the main characters on the, the hit TV show Supernatural. He played Dean Winchester. And Sounds of Someday, he's got a lot of great songs. This was the first one I heard, and wow. I mean, it is incredible. It's sad, but so it just draws you in and hooks you. It's got a very bluesy sound, and, and Jensen just brings the emotion, and it's an incredible song. So make sure you hear Sounds of Someday by Jensen Ackles. The next song, this is a classic rock song. It's Jim Croce's Time in a Bottle. Again, it's a song about loss, and it's about fading time and how quickly it goes, and how you wish you could just take those, take those great memories and, and, and put them in a bottle and keep them safe. And, and, and that you don't lose them. And it's such an amazing song. And Jim Croce, uh, just, just the way that he wrote and sang this is is unparalleled. And I, I, I cannot... Uh, 
I can't recommend this song more than you have to hear Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. The next one, another very emotional one, it's by J.J. Gray. It's called This River. And, and again, it's, it's a very sad song about just... You know, you're, he's going to the river to just basically try to wash away his sins and everything that he's done, everything that he's screwed up. He was an alcoholic who abandoned his family and they want nothing to do with him. And it just, he just wants the pain to be washed away in the river. And I remember watching the video and it had the, the late great actor Danny Ayala, uh, who does a, such an awesome job acting in that, that video. And it's, you, you got to see the video. And it, we'll have the link in the bottom as, as we will with all these. You got to check out This River by J.J. Gray. The next song, one of my all-time favorites, and it's been done by a number of different artists, um, but this is my favorite version. It's by John Cale, Hallelujah. It's the one that was popularized in one of the Shrek movies. And, oh my God, the, the, the biblical undertones, the, the sense of, of failure and regret... And the sense of being broken, but still just praising hallelujah is incredible. I, I don't know if I can put into words what that song makes me feel. Because I relate to it that much. And I think that's one of the reasons I love this song so much. And it, it, it nearly brings me to tears every single time I hear it. And that's John Cale's version of Hallelujah. Next one's a great country song from Keith Urban, and it's Stupid Boy. And again, it, it's, it's, it's a regret song of, I let her go. She was so amazing, and I'm so stupid, I can't believe I let her go. And it's just so beautiful. It's, it's about failure and regret, and it's an incredible song. And Keith Urban, as always, has an incredible voice. It, it, he just brings it to life in telling the story of Stupid Boy. So check out Keith Urban's Stupid Boy. And the, the final song that we're going to talk about in this video, one of my favorite bands, got the, the opportunity to interview these guys. They're incredible guys. It's Flaw and My Letter. And Chris Voles, for being a heavy metal, bringing it, man, that guy can, can sing the ballads. He can make you feel emotion, and he really does it on My Letter. It's such a poignant, beautiful song. And it, it may not be their, their most famous song, but you, you owe it to yourself to check out Flaws, My Letter. So that wraps up this sixth edition of some of my favorite sad songs. And I, I really, truly hope that you guys are enjoying these. I'm enjoying making them. Um, I, I think that it allows me the opportunity to kind of open myself up and, and let you guys see a little bit of per my personality and, and the things that I love and what makes me tick. So, as always, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, let me know what songs you think are incredible sad songs that maybe we haven't touched upon. Uh, I'd love to, to hear from you guys and check out those songs that you recommend. So as always, thank you so much for spending this time with us. Please give us the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We love you guys, God bless, and rock on.